What's up, guys? Well, last time you saw this computer, it had a 980 Ti in it, but now it has a 1080 Ti. I decided to put my old 1080 Ti in this computer. Other than that, though, everything else is exactly the same. But I've also decided I'd do some tests just to show you how much uh, it's improved. You can always go back and compare in the benchmarks of the last video I did before I got this. I'll probably or I'll include those in the description. This is just showing everybody the specs of the computer so for people who are interested and haven't seen any of my videos before. Alright, I don't need those. That I'm going to leave open for temperatures. And we're going to do the same thing as last time. On my other computers. Just do some 3D mark and a couple of superpositions and whatnot. Time spy. And we'll start off with... Good old Fire Strike. Kind of excited to see how it does. This is the first time I've run any benchmarks on it since I installed it. Well, alright, alright, alright. All done with the first test here. It got a little bit worse than it did in my other computer, but... I figured it might do that. I feel like a 1080 Ti might be able to fully saturate uh, PCI Express 2.0 uh, lane. Not really sure though, so... It's only like a thousand points behind, so it could just be, you know, the processor holding it back or something. I'm not sure. But, anyway, now we'll move on to the next test. So here's what it gets at Fire Strike Extreme. All right, and on to the next test. Here's the results for Fire Strike Ultra. And on to the next one. Here's what we got in Time Spy. Very, very nice. CPU score. All right, on to the next test. Here's what we get in the 1080p Extreme run of the superposition benchmark. So now we'll move on to the next test. Here's the results of the 4K optimized run. And on to the last test. So the results of the last test, the uh, 8K optimized test. Here are our results. All right. Now let's uh, check out what our temps were like for everything. Okay, so nothing too bad at all there. Again, nothing bad there. Alright, there we go, the GPU. So we got up to a maximum of 58. It idled at a minimum of 24. All right.
Well, it's a pretty awesome computer now too. So now I have two pretty awesome computers. Although that processor and PCI Express 2.0 is probably holding that thing back, so I'm probably going to upgrade that thing. But at the same time, I kind of want to be interesting with it, so I don't know what I'm going to upgrade it to. Maybe an X99. I mean, I know I can get Ryzen cheaper, but an X99 build would be kind of fun. Or maybe get another uh, Xeon or something like that. Like one of the overclockable ones, if there are even it, are any. <laughs> anyway, though, that'll about do it for this video. Till the next video, peace out, guys.